Yo, JD here to Olympus, and as you can see here today, this is going to be another traditional F1 2016 Grand Prix thoughts after the race, and today it was the German Grand Prix, and this video, again, as always, is just going to let you know what I thought of the race, is picking a few things out, and then it's just mainly just hearing what you guys think of the race, there's a certain incident, and last time <laughs> there was quite a few interesting comments, which I really, really do love reading. So this video is just a discussion, so you can say whatever you want to say. So if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, if you want to send hate or whatever, I don't care at all um, because this is just a discussion and I just really enjoy reading everyone's comments in this. So starting off, I can definitely confirm that this was better than Hungary. <laughs> I didn't enjoy that race at all, but this race was definitely more exciting than that. Starting off with the race from the start, Nico Rosberg, shortest run down into turn one in the season I believe so I thought he would only be able to lose at one position max but he ended up losing three which was pretty pretty surreal really because he got a good getaway but then just seems to be the second phase um he just his car just got generated a little bit of wheel spin so he lost three positions there and from there really it just looked like it was Hamilton just controlling the race just managing his tires um, trying not to really overuse his engine and um, because he's got to make a change of that soon So really just managing the race really well and give all credit to him He did everything he needed to do to win the race today. Um, so he did a, an excellent job there The Red Bulls were very very quick today Which is really refreshing to see that they can actually keep up with Mercedes at least even though I think Hamilton was definitely saying quite a bit in the tank. It's good to see that they're definitely I'd say definitely are the second best team in F1 at the moment uh, so it's good to see Verstappen and, and Ricciardo really pushing each other throughout the race and Rosberg just couldn't really recover um, from that first lap really he couldn't really um, get on board with that the, the Red Bulls because it is quite difficult to follow around there as much as it's got long straights turbulent air is quite a big factor around there so he couldn't really do much at all um, which I was actually quite surprised with because of the pace they had and like the long run pace they had like on Friday and Saturday and qualifying as well. Thought it would be maybe a little bit easier than that, but he just couldn't do anything. But he was definitely, definitely not going to get a podium after he had that incident with Verstappen, which is quite a big talking point. Quite a few people exploding on Twitter about that. So I'm just going to give my take on it first. And as I said, you can say whatever you want to say. I'm just interested to see <laughs> what a lot of people think because there's quite a few mixed opinions on this for me i think it was pretty harsh for the penalty not disagreeing that the move itself was very very aggressive because it came from quite a way back and i was really really surprised at that point because i didn't think he'd be able to go for it but he needed to really do that because of, of, he just came out of the pits um, i believe so he just he really needed to get on in order to really try and chase down and um, Ricciardo went for a move quite far back and took the position got ahead of him throughout the corner and then pretty much just squeezed him out on, on the track and the exit and there's not much Verstappen could do and from there he got a five second penalty where he had to do it in the pit stay stationary for five seconds which ended up being eight seconds and for me uh, I think, it, I think it's just hard racing. Uh, that's what I would say, and that's what I said on Twitter. I think it's hard racing. Yes, I'm not denying that the move is really, really aggressive. He could have turned his wheel, wheel actually earlier and throughout the corner because he did keep it straight. But in my opinion, Austria was 100% a penalty. No doubt about that. But this, he got ahead of him for me. Got ahead of him throughout the corner, made the move stick. Verstappen moved over slightly, which made him go even tighter to the corner. Didn't turn his wheel because I think he would have actually locked up more whilst you're under braking. You really actually need to release the brakes and actually straighten the steering. Otherwise, you do actually lock up on the brakes. And he just used the track. He was ahead. He used the track, pushed him to the white line. Verstappen, it's up to him if he wanted to stay there, go around the outside. And yeah, that's it. I think he should have swapped positions. That's what I would have done. I think a five second penalty is a bit too harsh because I don't want drivers to be deterred from making ambitious moves in the future. Maybe not as ambitious and as aggressive as that, but to actually take risks in the car because I don't want 
just to see DRS passes every race because that's just not that exciting. I want the drivers to really, really get a hand off the car and actually take risks in, in the race. And that's what I want to see um, in Formula 1. So that's why I don't really agree with the five second penalty. Maybe a lesser penalty or a lesser penalty would have been more justifiable in my opinion. Just swapping positions I think would have just been an easy fix really. But this just kind of sends a message out that you can't be very, very forceful with other drivers. And as I said, for me personally, I would just say it's hard racing. Would Verstappen have done the same thing? Yeah, I think he would have done the same thing. And would Verstappen have been complaining? You know, would he have been complaining if he got a penalty if he did the same thing? Then yeah, I think he would definitely be arguing against it. I think any F1 driver would. So for me, he took the position, ran him out of room quite a bit. He could have definitely turned earlier on the wheel, definitely. But I think it's just very, very hard, aggressive. And we've seen that from other drivers. We've seen that from Lewis Hamilton. USA last year, Canada, Suzuka last year, Canada this year. You know, we've, we've seen similar-ish, maybe not as to the limit as that, which I think this instant is very, very much on the limit. But, you know, we've seen stuff like this before and haven't been penalties. So I think it needs to be a little bit more of a consistency throughout the FIA or what is actually allowed, like how much do you have to turn by a certain point or what, or you cannot run the driver out of room. I think it needs to be a little bit clearer in the rules of what you can and can't do. So that's just my thoughts on it. The race, I thought it was okay. Fairly exciting at times. Definitely more overtakes than last last week, um, which was a good plus. But that's my thoughts here today. Just want to hear what you guys think, because I know there's going to be quite a few mixed opinions in this one. Subscribe for F1 2016 content, which will be coming out later this month. So for set videos and hot laps online, Loads of other stuff as well. So please subscribe for that. Like if you enjoyed the video and comment what you thought of the race below. Catch you next time. Cheers.